Live from across the tri-states, this is KHQA This Morning. It's your news now. Kristen Aguirre is doing the exact opposite of sleeping today. She is out at Scotty's Fun Spot. Yeah, having some fun. What's going on, Kristen? Good morning. That's right. I'm here at Scotty's Fun Spot and I am lacing up my skates and I'm hanging out with some ladies that are all about girl power. We'll introduce you to them coming up after the break. You're watching KHQA this morning. 25 minutes after five, we're going to check in with Kristen Aguirre, who is out with the Dark River, Dark River Coalition Derby yeah. in some form or fashion. She was lacing up the skates. Looks like she's going to have fun this morning. What's going on, Kristen? Good morning. Yep, my skates are laced up. I'm all ready to go. I'm hanging out here with the Dark Derby, uh, gosh, Dark I, River Derby Coalition. Chad, you messed me up. Now I had it, and then you said it wrong. Um, so we're hanging out here, and you guys, you just had your season that just kicked off. Uh, yes, our first bout was just two Saturdays ago. We played a team out of the St. Louis metro area, and it was a victory for us. Ooh, uh, yeah. Final score, 134 to 116. And for people who don't really know, about as a game. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, what do you say to people who say that, Roller derby is not very much a ladylike sport. Well, I, I wouldn't describe it as ladylike, but it is very empowering. Um, you make a lot of friends. It becomes kind of like a surrogate family to a lot of people. Um, and we raise money for uh, local charities in the community that really usually focus on helping women or children or other vulnerable groups. So maybe you won't get to be a lady, but you can still wear, you know, fancy tights and, you know, look cute while you're being hardcore and knocking some people down. And so. what does that even mean, look lady, be ladylike? Anyways, this is ladylike. It's all about girl power, and you guys are definitely helping out the community. Um, so you guys are going to show me some of your moves this morning, but nothing like that, right? We won't Baby make you steps. do that, no. Um, this, this is our idea of fun, yeah. <laughs> Okay, well, I, Megan's going to lace me up with some pads, so in case I do fall, I will be protected. So coming up a little later, later in the show, you are definitely going to want to tune in because they are going to put me through a quick little workout. Cool, and I'd just like to point out that I didn't say it with very much confidence, but I had the name right, I think, Dark River Derby Coalition. You did stutter a little. KHQA's Kristen Aguirre out and about this morning. She is at Scotty's Fun Spot. Got her... Things like step, what do you call them, skates? Roller skates. Roller skates. <laughs> She's out there yeah. with the Dark River... Derby Coalition. There we go. Yes, that's right. We're out here hanging out with the Dark River Derby Coalition, and I am all geared up and ready to practice with them. So what is uh, kind of the Burdu basic stuff? Yes. Um, right now what they're working on are just some very basic falls, um, some single knee taps. Uh, one of the important, most important things you learn right off the bat is how to fall safely and how to fall small because you don't want to be splayed out on the track and have someone rolling over your fingers or become a tripping hazard to your teammates. And, and really quick, you know, I don't, I haven't skated probably since I was younger, but a lot of the women that were on the team never skated or... That is true. Um, we can teach anyone how to skate provided they're willing to put in the effort and put in the time um, so if maybe you haven't skated since junior high or something that's not a reason to be afraid that you won't be able to do it all right well I'm not afraid so let's get started now these this looks okay a little... they're, yeah they're gonna come back on this side okay so these are just the kind of the basic ones that you can teach everyone oh my gosh yeah, you don't have to do that they're oh. gonna do knee taps so <laughs> okay what's go ahead and go in with vicious us, okay hi. so this is vicious hi, hi. This is oh, nice. okay, okay so Okay, how do we do that? So let's, we're just going to hit this way. Okay, and you're just going to skate and bring the knee down. I don't know if I'll be able to come back up. Okay. Baby sets. All right, well, I'm going to continue to work on my knee taps here. And coming up a little bit later in the show, we're going to continue to do some workouts here with the Dark River Derby Coalition. If you just have to have a minimal skill of roller skating before you join the derby there. Oh, I would think so. Because Kristen Aguirre is getting her skate on this morning. She's live at Scotty's Fun Spot in Quincy. What are you doing now, Kristen? Good morning. That's right. I'm hanging out here with the Dark Derby... Oh, Dark River Derby Coalition. And these ladies are showing me a thing or two that I need to know before I get into the ring. So working on some exercises here. Um, what is the next one we're going to be working on? Okay, right now what they're working on is stop. So we've already covered falls. Mm -hmm. um, Which I'm really good at. Yes. And But <laughs> stopping is also essential, otherwise you crash into the floor or crash into the wall. So there's a bunch of different ways to stop, um, mm -hmm. and they're working on a few. But Little Miss Vicious here is going to show you a few of the more basic ones. So you feel a little safer when you start okay, rolling. Good. You know that you can, you can Okay. Quit. Oh, my gosh. Almost oh <laughs> Okay. Okay, let's set up with the ladies here. Okay. Okay. Why don't we try a plow stop? Okay. So okay. first, uh, Vicious is going to be teaching her a plow stop. And the goal here is to get as wide as possible like because that? you're going to stop uh, quicker the wider you go. Ooh. There you go. Good job. 
that, that, and you that's a little turn painful. Your legs that's a little painful. <laughs> okay, should I go back? Okay. Okay. You want to try a toe stop? Okay, how do you do a toe stop? Okay. Beautiful plow. <laughs> okay, toe stop, we're just going to go. Um, this is what we call a toe stop or a mohawk stop. Oh, I need to work on that uh, one yeah. a little bit. I think Kristen's uh, thinking maybe that's for the advanced class. <laughs> now, you guys all have unique names. Yes. What is your unique name? Megarada the Wicked. And then that was Vicious. That was Little Miss Vicious. Vicious. All right, well, I need a name, guys. I want to ask you guys out at home, tweet me out. What should my name be? I need to get a derby name before I get out on that ring. I agree. Melissa said earlier, the Pink Panther. I kind of like it. kind of do, too, but she, and she's just wearing pink today. That doesn't mean she wear pink all the time. Yeah. All right. That's Scotty's fun spot. What's going on, Kristen? Good morning. Well, all morning we've been showing you little sneak peeks of what you need to know to get into the ring. I've learned how to fall, and I've learned how to correctly stop. But now we're showing you the real deal. So what do we have going on here, Megan? Okay, well, the jam just started on that first whistle, and we've got two jammers with helmet covers with stars fighting their way through the pack. And you can see number 29, Roseanne Scar, got through first, so she would be the lead jammer. So Little Miss Vicious and Roseanne Scar, they're both scoring points for each of their teams. And Roseanne, since she's the lead jammer, can decide when to call off the jam. Now, so the jammer is the one that's getting the points, correct? Yes. It's kind of like, we don't have a ball, so if you think of the jammer position as being like the ball in the game of derby. So it's how many times a person can get around without getting it's stopped? It's how many um, opponents of the opposing team that you can pass legally. Now, you get a point for each one. This is hardcore. Yes. This is not, a, a, but people don't need to be afraid of this. Because, no. I mean, you guys have a lot of fun. Yeah, and it's it's not a free-for-all. There's no punching. There's no elbows. You can't push people. You can't dogpile. All right, what does that mean, Brie? That's uh, Roseanne Scar called up the jam. So she was putting her hands on her hips repeatedly, and that means she wanted the jam to end. All right, um, jam ended. So we're going to continue to watch these guys. We're going to get some extra footage. You can check it out on YouTube. Don't forget to check out our story at 5. We'll have more information on the Dark River Derby Coalition. And Kristen's still looking for a name. Feel free to tweet her at Kristen Aguirre. Good morning. Well, all morning we've been hanging out here at Scotty's Fun Spot with the um, River Do Man, I cannot get the name, guys. The Dark River Derby Coalition. The Dark Coalition. River Derby Coalition. <laughs> Chad threw me off that one time. I'm just going to keep blaming him the rest of the morning. So we've had a blast all morning. He's been showing me your moves. Now, some people who don't know, you guys need unique names to be on the Derby team. Yes. There's actually a website, twoevils.org, where you go to check to see if your name's been taken. And if there is a name that's too very similar and you still want that, you have to actually contact the skater that has the similar name and get permission. So it's very it. unique. No two names alike. Now I hear you have a very unique name. It's Nancy Killigan, like Nancy Kerrigan. <laughs> <laughs> now, what's your favorite thing about uh, roller derby? Uh, probably the scrimmaging, getting to hit people, because it helps <laughs> with stress from work. Now, a lot of you guys uh, here, uh, you guys are rookies. Who's a rookie here, brand new? So, what is what has it been like in your first kind of first two bouts you guys had that? On um, the very first bout, I thought I was going to puke before because I was so nervous. <laughs> but the second one was really good, ready to go. And we have a, a bout coming up, right, Megan? Yes. Um, June 1st is our second home bout um, against, against the McLean County Misfits out of Bloomington area. And we'll be raising network for or raising money for Advocacy Network for Children. Now, would you guys all encourage people to come out to see you? Oh. Yeah. yeah. All right, for some more information on the team, you go forget to check out our website at connecttristates.com.